Hey everyone, this is Doug Kenny here. I'm here with Kerry Hitt from the Trans Am series, and he has a good story to tell about motor racing. How are you doing, man? I'm doing great, thank you. How are you, Doug? I'm doing really good. Where are you at good. right now? I am in cold Pennsylvania right now. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, central Pennsylvania. That's really cool. What's the racing industry like there? Uh, in this area, dirt track racing is big. Uh, they've got um, uh, four or five different tracks. Williams Grove, which is known, you know, across the country. Anybody knows dirt tracks. Anybody who's run Outlaws, they know that uh, that industry. Uh, it, it it's uh, alive and well in the circle track. That's really cool. Give my followers a little bit of what you're uh, known for. Well, uh, we don't do circle track, although I've tried it. I've tried dirt track, I've, I've tried uh, uh, tried drag racing, but it really comes down, my love is, is road racing. And uh, uh, in, uh, in in high school, many, many years ago, uh, everybody was, was drag racing nuts and, and I was road racing. So I sort of uh, got the nickname Sterling and they had no idea of the honor that they were giving me because it was Sterling Moss that was the driver back then. So. Uh, but uh, so I, I love road racing. I, I started out. Um, we started out running hill climbs, actually, and uh, I just sort of graduated up from from there. And we ran a Pennsylvania Hill Climb Association, uh, which ran many years and, and loved it. Um, uh, for, for those that are thinking hill climbs of motorcycles, it, it's it's not bad. It, it's uh, like the Pikes Peak, only it's paved, and they run a lot of hill climbs over in Europe, that sort of thing. And it's a timed run, not wheel to wheel. Uh, and uh, with, so we we run, uh, like I said, a number of years. Graduated from that, went into uh, to running uh, the regional races. Um, a little, little side story: I, I actually started racing. Uh, at the exact time that Paul Newman started racing, and we ran our our final uh, uh, novice race at at track at Lime Rock up in up in Connecticut. Uh, it was just just kind of interested in meeting him, and and uh, what a great guy, what what a racer. It was really really uh, loved racing. I think more than he loved acting, but uh, he he was really good at it. So anyway, I, I we ran that. We we started uh, running national races, and then again just graduated into Trans Am and that's kind of uh, where we where we ended up for a, a number of years uh, then I, I ran uh, the Grand Am uh, started the, the Rolex series uh, we ran the Rolex series in 2001 2002 and 2003 uh, 2002 we won the drivers championship uh, so uh, took off for about uh, 10 years and then uh, a fellow uh, I'll back up a little bit. We we stayed involved. My company is Advanced Composite Products, and and we build we build products from composite materials, uh, carbon fiber, Kevlar, fiberglass, and one of the things that the uh, Trans Am body is made out of is is composite. Uh, so we got involved in building bodies for uh, GT1 for Trans Am for a number of years, and uh, uh, just just. Uh, a, a, a friend of mine, uh, Mark Meissen, we, he built several cars. His cars, I think, have won the last five championships, uh, including this past year. It's the, uh, uh, his chassis was uh, uh, being run by, by uh, Dyson. Uh, so he had a car. He wanted to uh, get back into building some cars, and, and he had a car that he brought back. And I was in Florida at the time. And he said, you know, he said, I'd really like to run this thing. And I said, you know... I think I could probably still get the car around the track. I said, uh, let, let's go ahead and try to put a program together. And we did. So we, we put the program together. Uh, we started running uh, running Trans Am again after an absence of, of about 10 years. Uh, so the Trans Am was, was kind of going through changes. Uh, and during that time, it was owned by a group of people. Uh, the uh, it was owned by a group of people that uh, were, were trying to make a, a comeback, and but they were running old cars, '90s cars, you know. And, and uh, although they were cool cars, but they they just didn't have the modern day look. So uh, we got involved. Uh, we made the investment, and we started designing the. We, we did the uh, the Corvette. We did the Mustang. The 
the Cadillac, which is the one I drive, uh, the, the CTSV, uh, we did a Challenger, um, and and those were and the Camaro too. Okay, so we did all those cars, and we sort of brought the Trans Am back into the the modern times again, and we've been doing that. We've been building the bodies, um, uh, looking at at uh, running the series, and uh, I'm. I just turned 75 last week. Uh, I'm so blessed to be able to do what I'm doing at my age, you know. And uh, so, as far as my future is concerned, I'm I'm going to try to do this as long as I can, and and we'll uh, we'll see how it goes.